What's up YouTube, it's your boy James back with another video and today we're going to talk about the iconic Adidas Superstar, also known as the Shell Toe. Before we get started, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button. I know it doesn't seem very important guys, but it does help the channel grow and puts the videos out in front of more people. And if you're new to the channel and haven't yet already subscribed, please subscribe below and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content on sneaker reviews, gear, and sports related items. So first I want to talk about the history of the Adidas Superstar. The birth of the Adidas Superstar started way back in 1969. And it was primarily a basketball shoe. It caught the attention of most notably Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who wore them for years. It was also worn by many other NBA players and it had nicknames such as the clam toes and the shell toes and shell toes pretty much stuck as a nickname since then. Now after that successful first run of that shoe, um, they kind of did fade into obscurity and they were pretty much forgotten about from public consciousness. And then in the 1980s, a group called Run DMC popularized the shoe and brought them into sneaker culture and urban culture. They actually made songs about this shoe and in pop culture became the face of the Adidas superstar. The shell toe has been a favorite of many sneaker heads and consumers basically because of the style and the affordability of the shoe. Over the years they've come up with many different colorways and different collaborations which continues to add in popularity and sales growth for Adidas brand. The widespread availability of this silhouette is probably one of the reasons why it's so popular. You can walk into almost any shoe store at any time and pick up this silhouette and take it home with you. Over the years, I've continued to buy that white pair with the three stripes over and over and over. It is a stylish shoe and they do fit true to size. In most Jordans, I buy a size eight, I scale down a half size to cut down on creasing and they do tend to run a little big. But pretty much in every other shoe, I'm an eight and a half, including the Adidas Superstar or Nike Air Max, etc. Currently, if you go on to adidas.com and search their sales, they have some crazy deals going on. You can pick up a pair of shoes for like 50, 60 bucks. And I have bought a quite a few things from there. I bought my buddy Dave a birthday present. Shout out Dave. And I did pick up this pair here for about $50. Although the Adidas Superstar may not be as hyped as like retro Jordans or something like that, they do continue to fly off shelves and they are a part of most sneakerheads collections. So let's take a look and see what I have here. Comes in your white box that says Superstar. And the size tag reads eight and a half, black, cloud white. And these are known as the black clouds. And here we have it. I wanted to get a colorway that I never had before. And these popped out on screen, so I wanted to get them in hand. If you're looking for a cheaper option to build your sneaker collection, I do highly recommend buying some of these. All right, so let's take an up close look at the Adidas Superstars. All right, so starting out, you have your all leather upper here of course you're gonna have your three stripes it has a black midsole the bottom of the shoe is all black and here you have your front toe box which is that shell toe and that is made from some kind of rubber material here you have your white laces, no other laces come in the box. It does have an all leather tongue and then you have your Adidas gold branding at the top. Inside the shoe you have a white sock liner and you have your Adidas branding at the heel. 
And here's a shot of the back of the shoes. You have your Adidas branding there at the top. Continuing the leather and the black midsole. Here's a closer look at what you're really gonna get with these. You do have superstar branding in gold there. Very, very clean shoe. I do recommend going true to size with these guys. I wouldn't go up or down. So if you're a size nine, buy a size nine. And let's get into some on feet action. All right, so there you have it. Let me know down in the comment section, is this something that you would buy or have you already caught this? Recently, I did a sneaker review on the unreleased Jordan 1 Low Reverse Bread and I'll leave that link right there. As always, I appreciate any and all support. If you could please hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel or haven't yet already subscribed, please subscribe below. And please share it on social media with your friends or anybody who may be interested in sneakers gear, and sports related items. I appreciate all the support and feedback that I've gotten over the past few weeks. And until next video, peace.